Want to avoid costly mistakes that could shut down your franchise before it even starts? In this video, I'm about to break down the most common franchising mistakes in California and how you can avoid them. This video is brought to you by Agent CRM, the ultimate all-in-one software designed for agents and their teams. If you're looking to supercharge your business, Agent CRM has got you covered. From AI-powered schedule bot that helps you fill your calendar effortlessly to comprehensive marketing tools like unlimited funnels, email marketing, and ringless voicemail. Agent CRM is packed with features to streamline operations. With Agent CRM, you get access to powerful automated workflows, preloaded marketing campaigns, and world-class support. Plus, you can start with a free 14-day trial, no sign-up fee, and zero cost to get started. Join over 10,000 satisfied users who have transformed their business with Agent CRM. Head over to the link below or scan the QR code to start your free trial today and take your business to the next level. Hey there, it's Dan X Nguyen and I'm here to help you navigate the legal side of your business as your trusted business attorney in California. Welcome back to Legal Tips for Smart Entrepreneurs where we make legal matters straightforward and accessible for you and your business. Today, we're diving into the most common franchising mistakes I see entrepreneurs make right here in California. Franchising your business can be an exciting step towards rapid growth and expansion, but it can also be a fast track to legal headaches if you're not very careful. Here are the mistakes. First, not registering your franchise properly. One of the biggest mistakes franchisers make is failing to properly register their franchise within the state. Now in California, franchisers must file a Franchise Disclosure Document or FDD with the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. If you skip the step or submit incomplete paperwork, you risk legal penalties or even worse, your entire franchise agreement could be voided. Mistake number two, overlooking California specific franchise laws. California has some unique franchise laws that can catch even seasoned business owners off guard. For example, the Franchise Investment Law requires that additional disclosures like earnings claims and financial statements. If your franchise documents don't meet California's specific legal standards, you could be facing fines or lawsuits. Make sure you're familiar with these state-specific rules or hire someone who is. Mistake number three, failing to protect your trademark. Your brand is everything in franchising, but too many entrepreneurs forget to lock down their trademarks. Without federal trademark protection, your brand is vulnerable to infringement. You might not be able to force your franchise agreement. Before you start selling any franchises, make sure your brand name, logo, and any other key assets are trademarked, both federally and in California, if applicable. Mistake number four, unclear franchise agreements. A solid, well-drafted franchise agreement is the foundation of a successful franchise system. However, if your agreement is too vague, especially about roles and responsibilities, and support you'll be providing your franchisees, you're setting yourself up for future disputes. Make sure your franchise agreement clearly outlines terms like fees, training, territory rights, and renewal terms. Mistake number five, neglecting ongoing compliance. Franchising isn't just a one and done deal. For any franchisers assume that after they've registered and signed the franchise agreement, the hard part is over. But California requires annual updates to your franchise disclosure document. And if you're making material changes like new fees or expansion plans, you need to refile. Forgetting this step could invalidate your franchise agreements and open you up to legal liabilities. Thanks for tuning in to Legal Tips for Smart Entrepreneurs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. And leave your questions and comments below. I'm always here to help you navigate the legal landscape with ease. Until next time, stay informed and stay empowered.